Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. we got over 800 of these available for your listening pleasure. we got a variety of topics covered and we continue to add to these multiple times per week. We continue to do that for your listening pleasure and hopefully to make your world a little bit of a better place. So the idea of being pursued in relationships is one of the most valuable things that can exist for a person for a variety of reasons there are several reasons that a person may want to be pursued so what are some ways to open up to pursuit also if you are looking for a dating coaching or things of that general nature would love to be of assistance to you relational coaching dating coaching marriage coaching do all of that on a daily and weekly basis sometimes sometimes daily most times weekly for people all over the u.s and canada so would love to add you to that list and if you're looking for that you can reach out through Twitter, at PO Perception. You can reach out on the YouTube page in the About Me section. Either way, we'll get you to me, and ultimately, we can connect and go from there. So, um, what are some signs to increase pursuit? So, gifts. Gifts for yourself, in other words, complimenting yourself and actually showing you have self-esteem. But also, gifts for the other person that are random and small. Lavish gifts will scare people off in a lot of cases, although... A highly materialistic person may be comfortable with a lavish gift from another individual, but a person who is uh, a little more humble, a little more cons self-contented, probably is not particularly going to be that comfortable with the idea of a lavish gift or a gift that is, um, uh, you know, um, out of the sorts of what they feel truly comfortable with and at the end of the day a lot of that has to do with the realities of you know are you trying to buy my attention are you trying to buy my value are you trying to buy something to keep me in the loop as far as you are concerned most people would prefer not to be bought so gifts for the sake of trying to show flash not exactly the best of um, you know, value there. Fa favor, asking for a favor and then returning a favor. So the act of reciprocity through giving of your time, giving of your energy, giving of your focus, giving of sometimes money, even if it's a small amount, hey, I'll cover you for coffee can be a great favor. But also it's showing the ability and willingness to give without expectation and so the act of the giver shows a level of character that a person who is unwilling to give may not have and so consistency in the willingness to give can be a great way to become attractive to another person um, on a consistent basis especially when you're trying to make some level of connectivity with a new prospective partner. The next thing in that list is kind of eye contact. So making a difference of showing interest visually and through body language, but the eyes are the most easy and common way to speak to another person without using words. So it's showing interest in a almost side glance sort of way. The idea there being that, you know, being stared at, obviously, is not something the average person wants to deal with on a continual basis. But trying to sneak glances, sneak peeks, uh, get a person's attention without being over the top can be attractive because it's like, hey, I'm trying to uh, show a certain level of connectivity with you without overwhelming you, without making you feel negative or self-conscious or anything of that general nature. That can be super valuable there. The next is uh, kind of showing a positive side, but making sure that it's real. So a balanced positive side is about, is about finding positivity and drawing back to positivity while acknowledging a person may have struggles or difficulties. A lot of people are mistaken in this because they try to be overtly positive without ever really acknowledging that there's a negative side to life or negative circumstances we may not want to deal with. The problem with that is it may last for a couple of dates, a couple of occasions, even a couple of weeks or months, but when a negative 
um, consequence does show itself and you haven't seen a negative side to a person, it's such a shock to the system that it makes you less attractive over time. So showing a balanced side with positivity leanings is the best way to really connect with somebody and kind of win them over. The next uh, in the series here is kind of looking at um, the uh, willingness to be impressive without being showboating. So if you have knowledge of a certain topic or something that you feel may benefit the other person, or if you're willing to learn about topics just to connect with a person, that can also be a point of attraction too. In other words, showing interest in another person's interest is a great way of connection, but doing it in a way that's not meant to be intentionally harsh or over the top is also important. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.